What is up, everyone? I have 100%ed all the achievements from the Perils in Paradise mini set. I'm going to show you how to complete the last half of these, as well as two decks which are pretty good. I think if you're looking for good creative decks for the climb, I have two very fun decks that are actually really good. I'm using it to climb this season, and they'll help you get some of these achievements. So we'll just jump into it. Uh, the ones we'll talk about today, which I didn't cover last time, are Movers Over Shakers getting 50 coins from Cash Cow. Um, Go Team playing 20 minions created by Trustfall. Practice Makes Perfect summon 60 job shadowers. I, uh, stay Hydrated doing plus 50 plus 50 for Hydration Totem. Uh, attack with your hero 40 times while under the effect of Punch Card. Uh, as well as play 80 brochures. So we'll, dis we'll discuss all of those really quickly. Um, some of them are relatively easy, but some of them are a bit of a grind. So first ones first, let's talk about the punch card and the Holy Cow quest. So Holy Cow quest is uh, based around this card right here, Cash Cow, uh, Taunt, the five mana. Whenever this takes damage, get a coin. So the idea really is to play a deck that has this, um, and just rack up coins. This is relatively easy to complete because a 3-7 body, most of the time, means it's going to get hit once, or I'm sorry, two or three times in order to be removed. Especially against decks like Mage, where they have um, the 9-mana Fireball spell. Like, you know, you, you're going to get seven coins right off of that. So this is easy to compete, uh, complete. The other one, which is not as easy to complete, is Punch Card. So you have to attack with your hero while you have punch card active you have to do that 40 times that is actually quite a bit because there are very few tricks that are around it uh to get more activation so out of every game you're probably only activating it twice unless you do something which i will show you right after this but i do like this deck this is one of the two decks that i would recommend that you climb with this says cow and punch quest and basically I just put Holy Cow and Punch Guard in here, but this list is really a crazy big hunter list. You'll notice there's no uh, small creatures in the early game, but we have cards like Food Fight, followed by Punch Guard, uh, Char, as well as Patchwork Pals to get the Huffer or whatever the 4-2 uh, charge guy is um, so that you can kill your Food Fight minion and then summon one of your bigger guys. And the bigger guys are guys like Mukla, Thunderbringer. We got two Munstrosities, Yog Siren, Ziliax, and Factory Assembly. Also, we have Travel Master Dungar in here. Um, and the cool thing about this is we're running you know, Parrot Sanctuary. And Parrot Sanctuary lowers the battle cry of the next minion that has a battle cry. There's only one battle cry minion in the deck. It is Travel Master Dungar. So as you play Sanctuary on two, by the turn, by the time it's turn six, when you activate it for the third time, your travel that travel master will be six. So it is a cool synergy. This deck is in, is pretty wild. Like Thunderbringer is going to bring back this plus a beast. Um, you know, travel master will give you like Yogg, Ziliax, any combination, anything you pull off of a uh, travel master is just ridiculous. You have factory assembly. But th this deck is really fun. Wow. Um, pretty good i would say this is pretty good this fights really well into mage so try this this is a good way to accomplish the uh, cash cow uh, holy cow quest as well as punch card now i finished the holy cow quest in like seven games or something but the punch card quest i needed more games and in order to just get it done because i was looking to chase other achievements i would suggest this wild deck you can make any changes and basically i played around these two cards Sothrace and Fool's Bane. You'll notice here that Fool's Bane, unlimited attacks each turn, can attack heroes. And Sothrace, overkill, you may attack again. Now remember, this card, where is punch card, is the, the uh, quest is to attack 40 times while under the effect of it. So, if you have one of these equi uh, weapons equipped, you can activate punch card, attack a couple times that'll give you at least one more activation so hopefully effectively splitting the number of times you have to attack in twice uh, or the number of times you have to you know games you have to play by half now this card is actually pretty good like punch punch card is a promising promising removal card that you know it clears about a lot of those mid-game boards 
Um, especially if you have a smaller weapon like a uh, uh, like a remote control on Hunter or whatnot, or or even like uh, the three mana uh, hammer for for warrior. So those are, are decks that I would recommend for that. For the totem stay hydrated quest, which is to get to buff creatures plus fifty plus fifty with hydration totem. I suggest this deck. And this is another one of the decks that is just working really, really well for me. It is uh, Hunter Shaman. That's what I'm calling it. And really, I built it around um, the Hydration Totem and the Brochure. But this deck is just working really well. I, I think it's really good. I, it could probably be um, tweaked a little bit. And I'll talk about it. But basically, what you want to do is you want to stick some minions on the board and play Hydration Totem. And the cool thing about Hydration Totem is it really puts the onus on your opponent to have to deal with it. So if you imagine a turn one, you play something like Murloc Rofin, turn two, Hydration Totem, on your opponent's turn, he either has to choose. Does he deal with two, two, two Grofins, or does he try to figure out how to remove the totem? And it is very, very tricky. This can snowball very well. I actually completed this quest in something like four or five games. It was really, really good. Um, the card is pretty good. I, uh, there's probably a better shell for it. It probably doesn't need to be in here, but I do like this list. Uh, the brochure quest is to do, I forgot, 80. I believe it's cast a brochure 80 times. And there's just really no way to cheat this out. You only get two brochures a game at max. So you're playing like 40 games plus games to get this done. So I recommend if you have a chance to play a brochure, whether it's a shaman, priest, or druid brochure, please play it. This deck, though, is super sick. Like, we have these early game. We have six early game drops, one drops. We got cactus cutter. The good thing about this early game drops, this combo's crazy. Catch of the day plus murloc growfin. Because you play catch of the day, coin out murloc growfin. You use the growfin with rush to kill the 2-1 from catch of the day. That gives you a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1 one, one on turn one. Feels pretty strong. Cactus Cutter pulls either two spells, pulls, pulls Wish Upon a Star, which doesn't feel good, but it can also pull your brochure. So if you have four or more mana, it's a good way to get like that removal versus Demon Hunter. Uh, we got a Flint in there. It's always worked well for me. Obviously, these two cards are which we're using for the quest. Parrot Sanctuary, which is really good. I only have one pet parrot in here. This probably should be dropped, probably changed, but it's okay. Dream Planet Zephyrus, if you need to complete that quest. Gorgon Zoromu, Mixologist over planner which is a star of the show this card if you are playing any mid-range deck or a, con a longer like late game deck i think you really should think about playing over planner this card is very very good really like uh smooths out your turn four five and six and it feels very very good we got turbulence in here it's strong hagatha hagatha draws you wish upon a star and with this um parrot sanctuary your wish upon a star slimes only cost six which is sick. And of course, we have Golgoneth, Incendius, Shutterblock. So typically, some endgames are Shutterblock into Incendius or whatever. That's cool. But other times are Shutterblock into the slime from Wish that has Wish Upon a Star or or Shutterblock into something like Mixologist to get you like nine, uh, three, three potions for nine damage from the hand. Like there are de definitely different, uh, many different plays plus Sasquatch. This combo is really good. This deck is really sick. Another thing is like Shutter Block into the Gigantify Murloc Grofin. So you're getting three eight eights, or well, four eight eights in reality, which is absurd. And you'll see in the in the in these uh videos that's playing right now, this deck is get really fat on stats. It's pretty good. Like it obviously has some bad matchups, but it is quite strong. For um for uh where's this guy job shadower i i mean i would just recommend this deck this is just like honestly this this quest is is pretty much a chore as well you got to play this guy a few times so you know might as well win games i think this deck is pretty good pretty decent i'm not going to talk about it too much it's just demon hunter aggro just make sure when you have the opportunity to to activate it by attacking into a thing or using your stapler or whatever it may be uh do that first before playing Job Shadower. That's a relatively easy quest to do. Uh, I had another version, which I also played so that I could um, have access to the brochure. So I'll, I'll share that list with you as well. Um, I don't think it's that good. I, I actually didn't have a good time playing this list. Actually, I'm not going to share that list. Sorry. 
we're going to stick to the, the demon hunter list. That was much better. So that was that. Um, am I missing anything else? Let's go. Oh, another brochure list. If maybe shaman is not up to your flavor, you can play this type of rainbow death mine. And then, you know, you can fit in uh, the brochure. So I have ice crown brochure in here. Um, it works well. It's a good removal. Remember, it's frost and it can also be fire. So it's a good way to add your to your spell schools here. And lastly, the deck that I definitely think that you should run brochure in is this Spell Damage Druid. Here's the version that I'm playing. It only has two creatures, Mr. Vista and Aulonius. So that means that your brochure, uh, where is the brochure? Angoro brochure will always draw these two guys. And if it doesn't, it'll draw you spells, which you could discount. So it is a really good card. I think this is the best version of the deck, the deck that runs Aulonius and Mr. Vista. In, you know, in a better optimal deck, you probably drop one on Goro Brochure and you probably get rid of Burn Down completely, right? And then you'll fit in something else. I don't know, Funnel Cake or, uh, you know, maybe another removable or something. But that is that list. Uh, the other deck is Trustfall or the other card quest that we have to talk about is Trustfall. Trustfall is you have to play the minions off of Trustfall 20 times. And really, there is just no way to uh make this card better so my suggestion is just find the best <laughs> paladin deck that you have and put in two trust falls in it and just play the minions from trust fall whenever you can trust falls a pretty cool card basically what you're getting is two minions that are different with identical stats because they each add each other's stats to the other so that is a cool thing um you know but it's just so random and i guess you know certain hearthstone is at this period of time where it's just you can't afford to be random. You have to be doing the craziest stuff you can in order to win. Uh, so yeah, there's that. I think we touched on everything. The reason why I haven't collected any of these yet is because I'm saving this particular piece of the experience for the next expansion. So yep, that is. Those are the decks. You check the description for the for the deck codes. Um, and really give out give this hunter deck a try. Give this shaman deck a try. Both of these decks are actually really really good. You can see from the gameplay, they're very, very fun. But yeah, anyway, I will have another video talking about each of the cards from the mid, well, each of the cards from the quest, the achievements themselves, and talking about like things I've learned about them and whether these cards are better now that I've gotten much more play with them. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.